Thank you, but before we get going, just a couple of safety rules. Please remain seated at all times. I'm going to wait for crossing signal and then we will get out of here. Yeah, move on. everyone welcome aboard the Zufari Express first up to your right you can see a blue and yellow macaw sitting up there in the top right corner that is Lou Lou is the oldest resident here at the entire zoo of 41 years old now these gardens to your left are curated by our master gardeners personal favorite of mine is a little pineapple there in the middle that goes fast now as we go through our crossing, please be sure to wave to your crossing guard. There on the right you can see both of our rabbits, Oreo and Cookie Dough. Apparently they're getting a bit of a shower from that sprinkler. Yeah, I can't see them. I see the ducks. I see a Here turtle. Our duck and turtle pond. We do not have any permanent duck residents at the time, besides our rubber ducky. But we do have several turtles, and you can see a few of them sitting on the sides. Oh, yeah. He's stunning himself. Now, you know now these peafowl that we are passing are pretty special because they have a leucocystic gene. That means they are almost completely white or completely white, except for their eyes and some of their skin, which means they are not albino and instead leucocystic. Here at the goat yard, you can see several of our goats, most of them taking it easy. But on the far side, by that green feeder bin, you can see a scruffy looking goat, black and white, with a long beard. That is Jack. Jack is our oldest goat at 17 years old. That is very old for a goat, but Jack is very healthy and doing well. Now Jack looks different from the rest of the goats because he is a different goat. Jack is a Nigerian dwarf while the rest are Nubian goats. Nigerian dwarves are short and a little scruffy, while Nubian goats have slick fur and long ears. Say so. Coming up in the pond on our right is Mallory, our retired education duck. She has two new friends. They are both very young and new to the zoo. Aww. Mallory is retired because she has developed a bit of cataracts, but she gets to live out her retirement in that lovely little pond. They're way back. You have to look behind. Oh, we're going to go through a tunnel. Oh, no. I can't see where we're going. Oh, no. Now as we go through our tunnel at a whopping six miles an hour, let's make... This is a South American habitat home to two species, the rayas and the guanacos. Right up against the fence and in the center of the enclosure you can see two of our guanacos. Guanacos look very similar to llamas. That is because guanacos are related to llamas and the fact that they are predecessors, which means they came before llamas. Oh. You can see guanacos have thick woolly fur. They were farmed for this wool in South America. And over many generations long ago, eventually guanacos became an entirely different species. We have two giant anteaters and you can normally see them patrolling the side of that building and the fence in between. Yeah, you have to go over there. Now take a guess. What do you think an anteater's favorite food is? Ants. Oh, I see it. Now, if you said ants, oh, I actually have some news for you. It isn't actually ants. Oh. It is termites. Oh. Anteaters will search for termites in the wild specifically. <laughs> they will eat ants, but termites are what they are looking for. And last but not least, here in the farmyard is our cow, Abigail. The two miniature donkeys, Dante and Sebastian, and our pony, Danny. 
Now as we come into the station, please stay seated until we come to a complete stop and you will exit to the back of the train. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day. Hi, okay.